Hey guys, and welcome back to another bathroom video. As you can see, my hair has grown a bit since my previous hair styling video that I made just before Christmas, I think, where I faded my hair. Didn't go very well, but that is at least the reason why my neck hair and the hair on top of my head, they're different lengths because the sides and the back have been trimmed once quite unsuccessfully or well they were successfully trimmed but the as you will see when i start styling it the look wasn't very smooth <laughs> but today i'm going to show you how i style my hair at this point with this do but i am planning to get it professionally trimmed and faded and styled kind of once it grows a little bit longer because it's still at a length where you can't really do much with it, so another month or two and I'll get it professionally done, but for now, this is how I do it. First I use this uh, Blow Pro Main Tame Soft Pom Pomade, just to like get some product in there, because my experience with short hair is the more product, the better. <laughs> and the more days it's been since you washed it, also the better. I will probably start using uh, dry shampoo again quite a lot once it grows out to the hairstyle that I am trying to achieve here. And then I have not used this technique before, so technically this is the first, first try. Um, I usually part my hair and blow dry it. I got some questions about how I get my part so defined. And it's all about the blow drying. <laughs> but today I thought I would try, since my hair has grown out even more, I would try to actually pin it down to get an even more defined part. But we'll see how that works. Something like that. That should work. So as you can see, I was kind of styling the hair while I was blow drying it. I blow dry the bangs area upwards and downwards. Usually I style it kind of upwards and backwards, but if you want to style it downwards, forwards, then it, you should definitely blow dry it in that direction. Okay, so here you can definitely now see what I meant by my trim wasn't very successful. On this side it kind of blends in a little bit better, but you can still see these like chopped edges of the, the long hair and the short hair. But on this side it's even worse. Um, as you can see here, this the, the longer part of the hair, like it's it's not smooth. It's like into the back. And obviously this hair has been bleached more, this hair is it has been bleached on the tip of the hair, but most of it is my natural color, so it's way darker. And yeah, it's just uh, here on this side, you can definitely see that it was a DIY job. 
So that's something I'm really looking forward to having professionally done so that when I part my hair like this and style it, it will be very smooth and well faded into the shorter parts. And I obviously want the bottoms to be even shorter than they are now. And as you can see, my hair is quite poofy <laughs> when it's like this. Um, and something you can do if you want it, want it to be even flatter is wear a beanie straight out of the shower. I sometimes do that, but I'm pretty happy with the way it turns out when I blow dry it anyway, and the beanie really annoys me. So now that it's a little bit longer and I can actually blow dry it into a look, I prefer doing that over wearing a beanie. But if you have, if you have this length or if you have shorter hair than this, then the beanie is definitely a life hack that will make it way easier. Now I'll go in with this matte defining clay wax. As always with hair products, it's like, is it amazing? I don't know. Does it do what I want it to do? Sure. Are there better products? Probably. I don't know. I just picked up whatever there was because I just needed something to kind of get in my hair. One product that I really missed from the last time I had really short hair is what was it called dust something this kind of like volume volumizing dust that's kind of the same effect as using the volume dry shampoo from batiste now i'm just gonna run this clay wax all over my hair and make sure you kind of run it in the direction you want it so the sides go back, for me at least, and since I want it to really get into the hair on top, I just like rub it around, but then I can start styling it once it's all in there. And again, it's like up to you what kind of look you're going for. I kind of like this like faux hawk look. Um, but if you want something that looks a little bit neater, maybe, then you could always uh, do it in the front and smooth it down. Then I usually go in with a comb and kind of even it out so that there are no like wax lumps and stuff in there. I rarely care about what the back of my head looks like because I only do my hair for videos and you guys don't see the back of my head in videos, so that doesn't matter. Ultimately, my goal for my hair right now is to let this top part grow so that I eventually can do a proper, like, swooshy top part. Right now, it's not, there's not a lot of swooshiness going on because it's so short, but uh, that's the goal at least. I like it kind of messy. Like you didn't spend that much time on it, when in reality, you did. <laughs> so this is, uh, I mean, it's not perfect, it's not amazing, but uh, for those of you who have this kind of like in-between hairstyle, in-between lengths, when you shaved your head perhaps, and you're growing it out, every bit of help or inspiration to get some kind of a look out of it so this is, uh, I mean, it's not perfect, it's not amazing, but uh, for those of you who have this kind of like in-between hairstyle, in-between lengths, when you shaved your head perhaps, and you're growing it out, every bit of help or inspiration to get some kind of a look out of it definitely helps. Because I've gotten a lot of comments from people who either recently shaved their heads or shaved their heads around the same time that I did and they're like, what do I do with my hair? Well, this is what I do at least and you can do what you want with that information. <laughs> and sometimes I'm just not happy with the result. Like, is this good enough for me? Sure. Is it uh, everything I want it to be? No. Would I go out like this without being ashamed of it? Yeah. If you have any life hacks for this length of hair, or shorter or longer, that you have found really works for you, then let me know in the comments below. I'm always up for trying new things. So there, I hope you guys have liked this video, and if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. It, uh, believe it or not, 
it really does help me and my channel when you guys click the thumbs up. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys again in the next video. Until then, have a super good one. See you later.